everybody, my name is Mr Edwards and I'm going to be teaching you PE. I have now been delivering PE in schools for uh, 11 years and 10 of those have been at Highwood Primary. Welcome to my classroom. And another classroom. And another classroom. And another. And another. We are so lucky at Highwood to have so many choices of spaces uh, to take part in our PE lessons at Highwood. Uh, we're really spoilt with space outside, uh, lovely big hall um, and lots of equipment to play with. Anyway, let's talk about something serious. Me. I am married to Mrs Edwards. I've got two children, two boys, Ethan and Aidan, a dog called Todd who's an absolute muppet. I have three passions in life. One is Star Wars, second motorcycle racing and thirdly Kit Kat Chunkies, milk chocolate variety. Apparently, according to those closest to me, I am now officially old. Before embarking on teaching and coming to Highwood um, for several years after leaving school, I was a footballer. Um, one of the greatest achievements was I managed to play for England three times um, by the time I was 19 years of age. Um, I then had a long career in finance, uh, in hedge funds and boring stocks and shares, and uh, now find myself teaching kids. I can honestly say teaching kids is far more exciting than sitting behind a desk talking money. The sport for me now is motorcycle racing, uh, MotoGP, World Superbikes, British Superbikes. My absolute hero is a chap called Valentino Rossi. Uh, he is possibly the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Um, the guy has just so much personality and he's an absolute winner uh, on a motorcycle. And he's even in his 40s now and still competitive. See, told you us old dogs still have plenty of life. When I get the opportunity, I actually go racing round racetracks myself. And here is a photo of me doing just that at Silverstone GP circuit. Apparently, this video was not supposed to be about me. It was supposed to be about your PE. So should we get on with it? Okay, so as curriculum lead, it is my job to ensure that the PE is delivered uh, to a high standard and that the activities and range of skills and drills that we actually get you to do um, are part of the national curriculum. Uh, they are enjoyable, that children have a sustained period of uh, activity, uh, that they lead a healthy and fit lives um, and are actively encouraged into competitive sports when they get into key stage two. Uh, we do actually run some key stage one competitions as well and we'll be coming on to those a bit later. Uh, the curriculum is actually broken down into several areas um, of which this next slide uh, will be able to show you and I'll talk you through it. Okay, so you can see from this slide the five main areas, control, pass and receive, target invasion, balance and coordination. Uh, they are then shown in the graphic at the bottom where they're colour coded. So you can see that the different parts of the curriculum are learnt and then repeated and learnt again to embed that learning. You also have on this slide health and fitness, competition, swimming and dance. All children in Key Stage 1 get half a term with our dance specialists where you will be taught dances and different movements based upon your topic of the term. If you are in Key Stage 2, you have the fantastic opportunity to swimming lessons. You will get at least five or six weeks of the academic year where you will be taught swimming at Bluecoat School. Finally on this slide, my favourite part, which is the teamwork, confidence, leadership and communication part of PE. To me, this is the most important as this embeds all of those life skills that you are going to need once you reach adulthood. We learn these via house captains, via our ambassadors of sport and various other leadership opportunities that you have within PE. On the previous slides, we mentioned how the curriculum was broken down with the pass and receive, target and movement, spatial awareness or that side. We use different sports, 18 in total, to make sure that we cover all of those different curriculum areas. So in short, the curriculum areas that are covered in autumn term are health, fitness and well-being via circuits, control, pass and receive and target, throwing and agility and strategy via football, tag rugby and netball. In spring, there is hand-eye coordination, pass and receive, striking, movement, control, 
strategy via tri golf, tennis, basketball and hockey. And then hopefully the sun will be shining on us in the summer term where we will have a full suite of athletics where we'll be covering the curriculum areas of agility, speed, strength, throwing and fitness. And then to finish off, we will have cricket where we'll be learning catching, throwing, target, striking and strategy. And hopefully all getting a lovely suntan at the same time. Also throughout the academic year, there are also indoor PE sessions, which you have gymnastics, indoor athletics, badminton, disability games, which include boccia, curling, and volleyball, minefield, goalball, and also your dance and bench ball. Okay, so here are a few pictures of PE over the last year, and you may recognize some familiar faces. Enjoy. There are also house games which are held at lunch times and you are chosen by your house captains to represent and we change those different sports each four or five weeks. So there's plenty of opportunity for you to show off your skills in the sports that you know you are very good at. And of course the winning house does manage to get 50 extra house points towards their totals. One of the major highlights of the year is obviously Sports Day. Uh, they are split into EYFS, Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. And you represent your house, go up against everybody. So Hawks, Eagles, Falcons and Red Kites battle it out uh, via a large carousel of activities and then traditional races. And then at the end, we have the mums and dads and toddler races, which are great fun. And here are a few photos from previous Sports Days for you to enjoy. Here at Highwood, you will also have a lot of opportunity to represent your school in the wider community via competitions. And that's right from year one through to year six via leagues, national school games and such. We provide you with kits. There's even special track suits when you are representing the school. And uh, they are always great fun. And uh, I'm always so proud of the children when we take part in these competitions. And here are some pics of some previous teams that have actually represented Highwood Primary School. Finally, the kit you need for PE. So the standard PE kit is trainers, trainers not plimsolls, shorts, black shorts, the PE t-shirt which can be purchased from the reception. In the winter you will need a black plain tracksuit. Uh, regardless of the weather, unless it's absolutely teeming down, we will be going outside so please dress appropriately, nice and warm. We have a fairly strict policy on earrings. Uh, they are not to be worn at all in PE. Uh, therefore, they need to be taken out by the children themselves. Uh, we recommend that if you are thinking of uh, fitting earrings, that they are done in the very first week of the summer holidays. Otherwise, we will ask you to remove them. OK, so that's it from me. Um, all I have to say now is that I really, really look forward to seeing you in September and getting back to uh, PE. And we start off with circuits and blood and heart work, so a bit sciency. Uh, but I'm just looking forward to seeing everybody back in school. I hope you have a fabulous summer holidays and we will see you again in about six weeks. So take care, everybody, and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheerio.